What does every kid think after watching Jurassic Park? Damn, I wonder what it would be like to be there. Well, at least that's what younger me thought when I first watched it. Then, I found an early access game, and my friend and I got insanely hyped for it. We didn't care about the downfalls. When you see a T-Rex with laser beams coming out of its head, you buy it, you play it, and you love it. So hello everyone, my name is Shmenti, and this is my tribute to ARK Survival Evolved. Now before this video starts, I've got some thanking to do. Not only did we hit 75 subs, 100, 150, 200, 250, but we hit 300 subscribers today. This growth is absolutely ludicrous, and I appreciate all of you so much. I know it's so corny, but you guys really mean the world to me, and you're really paving the way for me to actually turn this into a job. I stream on Twitch sometimes, and I do have an Instagram. Both links are in the description below. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. I've mentioned in the past that I had a very old iMac a while ago, a 2007 one to be precise, and there was no way it could run most games, even games like Terraria, let alone a terribly optimized, massive game about dinosaurs. Yes, I always loved dinosaurs as a kid. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think at one point or another, every one of us dreamt about being an archaeologist and finding live dinosaurs, or being in Jurassic Park and having to fight them, or any number of things that you can do with them. There were a few games about dinosaurs as a kid, but there was one that stood out to me. It was called The Stomping Lands. It never came out, even with about 4,000 pledgers pledging well over $100,000 for its creation, it was cancelled and they never even got a refund. It really saddened me to hear about it, because I was really hyped over it. It was a game about multiplayer survival, surviving together as a tribe, not being able to, you know, take advantage of the dinosaurs and become way more powerful than them, but to let them fight each other and then tame them back up after battle. It was really cool to me because it focused on the human aspect behind the game. You were not better than the dinosaurs. Now, Ark isn't really like that, to be honest, and I was kind of disappointed in that at first. I saw one of the coolest video game trailers I have ever seen in my life, in around 2015. I saw a man running through a forest, getting chased by a creature of supposedly unknown size, only for him to open the gate, get with his friends, turn around, and have a massive T-Rex burst through the gate. It was one of the best feelings I've ever gotten from a trailer. It was my first introduction to ARK Survival Evolved. It took all the boxes of the 2015 to 2017 survival game craze, like Stranded Deep, The Long Dark, and even Minecraft. It had weather, a day-night cycle, PvP, PvE, resource gathering, crafting, and a laundry list more. On top of all that, it had one thing, dinosaurs. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to fire a shotgun at your friends off the top of a T-Rex? I got overzealous and bought the game on my PC, but my naive self did not realize how horrendous the game would run on a graphics card with around 128 megabytes of video RAM. I couldn't even start it. I was broken. About two years later, I was looking for my first next-gen console. I had an Xbox 360, but I wanted either the Xbox One or the PS4 at the time. But only one of those had ARK. It was the Xbox. Yes, this game is the sole reason both me and my friend bought it. I still remember him coming over to my house around some day in 2017, I don't even remember, and we had a list of each of the games and the pros and cons of the PS4 versus the Xbox. But ARK was really that deciding factor, at least for me. We fell in love with the game, with the console too. We started playing it. It was the best experience I had had in years. We fell in love with it. And like a lot of the games from my time, it was pretty broken and buggy. There were so many bugs, but I still loved it. Looking back, and now especially, I wouldn't have even played it at all. I couldn't deal with the amount of bugs that it had at the time. And I still remember all the beautiful memories they gave me. I remember the base that we made on the center map. I found some old screenshots from my Xbox. 
the bugs, the bass, and the beautiful, fond memories of our golden days. But what makes Ark so fond to me if it's buggy? Well, as a kid, I didn't really care around hype around games. I would love the broken buggy games all the same as long as I could play them. A lot of people shied away from them, but I really didn't care about how broken it was as long as it was playable and enjoyable. And Ark was, by definition, playable. But for the same reason it took a minute for everything to load in for PUBG and I still played that game and loved it, I still loved this game, even if my dinosaurs fell through the earth, my friend turned into a ball of chaos and a million other bugs. You see, that's the wonderful thing about being a kid. Your expectations for pretty much everything are low. You meet a high schooler, it doesn't really matter what they do, you still think they're cool. You play a buggy mess of a game, you still think it's cool. Nowadays, if I find bugs in my games, I can't really enjoy them that much. I don't really know what changed, I guess my expectations for games just went way up. But back then, I really didn't care. Sure, if I died and lost progress, I'd be mad. But my friends and I really just laughed at the bugs way more than we cried at them. But what made the gameplay so good that I didn't even care about the bugs? Well, let's talk about that. Ark is a full-fledged survival game, at least off the start, but I'll touch on that later. You have food, health, thirst, heat, stamina, weight, and many, many more things to keep in mind. These are the core elements of the game. Each game goes a little bit like this, right? You wake up on the beach, naked with a little imprinted thing in your left arm that you don't really know what it does. You do the whole Minecraft routine and punch a tree to death. You gather berries and fiber on the ground, along with some stones. Make some primitive clothes and tools until you hear the deafening sound of leveling up. You're getting there. You work through a tech tree that progresses as you progress, and eventually you'll build some primitive clothes, buildings, weapons, tools, and most importantly, and most fun, saddles. Once you have a nice little base, you have some tranquilizer arrows on your bow. And well, what do you do with Trank? You go and you shoot dinosaurs. Now, this isn't really poaching, I guess, technically it's legal because there's no laws here, but you go out and shoot a few of God's beautiful creations until they pass out. From there, you feed them and lie to them that you care about them. You tame them, and you put saddles on them, and you begin to understand what this game is all about. It's not just your survival, it's a pet simulator. Yes, no matter what I would do to my animals, I still loved them. They were my pets. They were the only reason that I was where I am, and they were the reason I took so many screenshots of this game. From there, it pretty much branches out to two directions, PvP or PvE. Now, my friend and I played on a private world, which basically means he was tethered to me at all times. He had to stay within a certain foot radius, I don't even remember anymore, but it's like a reverse restraining order, if you will. But we did play on PvP servers sometimes. PvE focuses on herbivore tames that gather resources really well, such as the Brontosaurus or the Ankylosaurus, while PvP will start to go to the aggressive tames rather quickly, including the T-Rex right off rip, which kind of changed the way I thought about this game, but again, I'll touch on that later. Both are super fun to use and a blast to tame. This game's about danger. You're always in danger. Swimming is perilous, the swamp is perilous, the forest is, well, actually the forest is alright, but everywhere else can be dangerous. It's scary because in real life, a human would never take down a T-Rex or a massive crocodile, but in this game, it's actually not too difficult. Your mind plays tricks on you and thinks that you have no chance against this T-Rex when in reality you can kill him in a few rounds from a rifle. It makes animals seem scarier than they actually are, but I think that's part of the fun. No matter how much I love this game, it has flaws. It is by no means a perfect game, and I'm fully prepared to talk about that. The developers of Ark are not exactly stellar. Look, the game is playable, but there are some core problems with how they updated it that I can't get over. First, at launch, almost every dinosaur was a real thing from the past that we have skeletons of in our world. A face that we could see on this planet. Then they started adding some mythical creatures, the wyverns and the manticore to be exact. 
I didn't really care. I mean, it was cool and they were fun to tame and all that, so I was okay with that, but it didn't stop there. Then they added the thing that killed the game for me, tech dinosaurs and tech armor. Call me old fashioned, but I wanted a true survival game. I wanted a game to be terrified in. I wanted to be absolutely scared of every dinosaur that charged at me, not be able to fly 50 feet above them and beam them with a laser. Max, I'd want modern day armor and guns, but the game moved past that, and I can't really comprehend all that's going on now. Bases don't really look as cool to me, or even practical at all. I mean, most of them are stuck way up in the pillars of extinction or aberration. I don't even know how many they've added at this point, I can't keep track. But the one thing that stuck was, honestly, the dinosaurs. And you know, there's some servers that lock it, and I'll touch on that again later. But now, with the core gameplay loop, I mean, you can literally suck these dinosaurs up into pokeballs and, you know, transport them across worlds. It's just too much for me. And let me know in the comments if you enjoy this part of the game. Maybe I'm just weird, maybe I'm just old fashioned, but just let me know, alright? Back in the good old days, I would watch arc raids on massive compounds using different dinosaurs to do different things. Some would set up distractions with these big dinosaurs while they had friends fly in on pterodons and go hop into their base and start looting. I will support the idea of ARK for a very long time. But the one thing I don't support is adding content when the stuff that's already there needs to be fixed. That's something the devs did that really angered me. Instead of fixing the thousands of bugs there were, they just throw another dinosaur at us to appease us. It angered me, but I still played. To be fair, they did give players like me an option. It's called Primitive Plus. It's a mod, and the game in general has fantastic modding support. Pretty equivalent to Minecraft, to be honest. This is an example, just like all of the maps, pretty much. There are so many player-created maps, guns, armor, even dinosaurs. I mean, the modding community is amazing in this game. If you want primitive fighting, Primitive Plus is just for you. There's no tech dinosaurs, and honestly, when I played it again, that's all I really could play. I didn't really like the new style of fighting and all that, I just wanted a good old survival game. I know I gave the devs a bad name here at the end, but this game represents my middle school life. I would grind with my friend for hours upon hours, taming dinosaurs, grinding up the ladder of tech. It's a very fun game, and I haven't played that much recently. If you enjoy survival games and it goes on sale, go ahead, check it out, who knows, maybe you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. We've seen incredible growth recently, and I know not that many people make it to the end of my videos, but if you're here, I really care about you. So thank you so much for watching again, my name is Shmenti, and this was my tribute to ARK. Survival Evolved.